What's going on guys, how are we doing? Welcome to another edition of The Rounds. Time to pour another pint of knowledge. My name's Glenn, welcome to it. Uh, today, we are heading up to the wonderful world of the Pacific Northwest. My homeland. And uh, we're gonna check out an absolutely delightful Cascadian Ale. Uh, Cascadian Ales are the uh, term that's been coined within about the past two years or so uh, for this delightful variation of dark pale ales and I, it's so weird to say dark pale ale but yeah dark pale ales um, and typically darker hoppier brews um, so dark being a reference to the color pale being a reference to what's typically considered a hoppy ale uh, this is dark rain dig that so that's the deal there. Uh, it comes in at 5.9% alcohol by volume and uh, is 60 IBUs. Uh, additionally, it features uh, Nugget, Crystal, Chinook, Cascade, Centennial hops and uh, features two specialty malts. That's Dark Crystal Malt and uh, Black Wheat. Um, so as you would expect with those two feature malts, you've got a very dark ale. Nice thick head. Uh, looks like it might retain pretty well. Stick around for a little while there. Um, rocky, uh, frothy, almost like uh, like the top of a milkshake or a root beer float. Um, I can. I'm actually getting wafts of the hops from here. Um, mm, this one's got a, a nice touch of the centennial to it. It adds to the nose quite nicely. Mm, very nice, actually. Uh, so this is their winter seasonal. Um, you'll probably still be able to find it around. Um, I probably only bought this six pack maybe, I don't know, three weeks, a month ago, something like that. Um, but as we can see, nearly pitch black. Uh, little nuances right around the rim of the glass make it almost look maybe brownish, reddish. Uh, the head is sticking around uh, Cascade and Centennial on the nose. Um, although I believe the bittering hop is actually the nugget, and then the four C's are your aroma and finishing hops. Um, mm. Yep. This one tastes like it's got a bit extra of the Cascade and Centennial to it. I actually really enjoy it that way. Um, That's really enjoyable. So a bit dark, um, not incredibly hefty. Uh, mouth, it's got, I'd say it's got pretty nice mouthfeel. That's one thing that I, uh, that I would say I've noticed with the Cascadian dark ales, uh, is that typically dark for malt in color, not necessarily super hefty in terms of mouthfeel. And that's something a lot of folks just for some reason mentally automatically equate. They see a beer this color, they think it's gonna weigh four times as much and then by that time they finish drinking this one beer, it's going to feel like they've eaten an entire loaf of bread. Um, that's not actually the case. Uh, dark beers can actually be quite light. Um, uh, few people outside the hardcore beer nerds realize that there are fewer calories in 16 ounces of Guinness than there are 16 ounces of Miller Lite. Now, I'm not making the argument that either Guinness or Miller Lite are in any way craft slash respectable slash whatever beers. That's not the argument I'm making. I'm simply drawing a caloric difference. Um, for those of you wondering why I drew such a finite point, uh, you know, I like to try and prevent problems before they happen. So here's to that. Uh, but really quite tasty. 5.9%, uh, so not over the top on your alcohol by volume. And again, you're talking about Bridgeport. So I think they have found this fantastic niche uh, where they operate, from my experience, from what I see in my area, they operate in terms of retail about a dollar to dollar twenty-five more expensive than the beers that shan't be named. Uh, and for that, you get fantastic American independently owned and operated craft beer, and you get a good value for your dollar. Like that dollar twenty-five is easily negotiated with the consumer once the increased perceived value 
is actually received. Once they find a craft beer that they are really blown away with, and you see when it happens. Like, you can tell Salty Dog or brand new 21-year-old who's showing off his ID. You can tell when somebody has something that they really enjoy. It is written all over their face. You don't even have to ask them. You don't. Um, fantastic beer. I think Bridgeport makes fantastic product. And you guys got the hot bitterness perfect on this bottle. <laughs> I I feel pretty lucky because I feel like this. I can. I, I just feel like this is a pretty good show. Um, of course, you expect variation between each bottle, but you gotta let that ride. That's part of the art, you know. Uh, but really, really well done. Um, in terms of food pairings, I think I got something in mind for you guys. I'd keep an eye out for a video here pretty quick. Uh, but until then, uh, this has been Glenn and the rounds saying, check it out. It's American. It's independent. Drink to your health. And uh, we'll see you next time here on the rounds. That's damn good.